In the eternal quest to see if gear actually does matter and how much it costs, we are doing a shootout between the most expensive steel snare drum on Amazon and the least expensive steel snare drum on Amazon. They're gonna be 14 inches by 5.5 inches. Both of them are gonna be steel. And then this one was just over $500. It's the Yamaha Recording Custom. And this one was just over $50 and it's the, I don't know, the Lex Lexington. Lexington Custom, we'll call it a custom. <laughs> custom. Right? Lexington yeah. Custom. So the question is not which is a better drum, the question is can we get the cheap one to sound good and how good does the expensive one sound? We're gonna test these at a low tuning, so just above completely detuned, a mid tuning, and then a high tuning, and then we're gonna see what the best tuning is for each of these drums. With all of my students all too often, it's gear, 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 more expensive equals better, and to me, I really like to just look at what gear do I I have, how can I make it sound good? And then let's just work with that and work on our drumming and we'll upgrade the gear later. I've heard some really killer players play on some real crap drums and they sound amazing. Better gear makes you better though, right? Yeah. So if you want to give me $500 for this, you'll be a better drummer. Thanks. Instantly. So Boom. See? <laughs> so I guess let's look inside of these boxes, see what they look like. Yeah, I'm curious to see the uh, differences. We got some sticks. There's no. <laughs> First of all, there's no, it's just set in the box. <laughs> there's no um, or padding anywhere. This is like a, a double layer box though, so there's that. So it's pretty much safe then. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> it own sticks, uh oh. There's, a, there's no knots in them, so that's good. Sound decent actually. Kind of light though. Oh, they are light. All right, what else we got? Well, what is that? Strap. We got the strap, strap. if you're into that. Oh, I'm into it. Oh, hold on. Steel. Oh, it comes with a key too. Gotta have a key. So this is a, a Lexington by Aileen. 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 Yeah, Aileen Music. <laughs> what? And uh, pretty, pretty regular, uh, just junk heads on the top. How's the body feel? It's, it's, it's there. So that's nice, it's a 10 lug. Ooh, you always gotta cut your snare straps to be angled for style So that points. they do, <laughs> and so that they slice you. There's, there's no air vent. That's that's nice. There's just a hole there. Does it have an internal muffling? I do not believe so. No, no internal muffling. All right, so pretty nice. I think we need the strap though. There you go. Oh yeah. See, this was worth the purchase itself. All right, let's check out uh, what we got here. Hold on, you already broke it. What? You broke the strap. <laughs> there you go. I'm <laughs> sorry. Quality. Let's check this one out. This comes with. Are those extra? You got a oh. drum key. I don't, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, so there's no padding around it, and actually, the drum punched through almost right there on the inside. So, eh, not too many points for the packaging. Okay, comes with Remo coated ambassador. Oh, that is extra wires. Oh, yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah, these have like a like a, a double skip pattern or something. Okay, so it comes with an extra strainer, which is pretty cool. This doesn't have any internal muffling either. Not that that's like a deal breaker. <laughs> I can't play this drum. I like the throw off, but no, I got it. it's easy to adjust with one thumb, which is not always the case. So I like it, I like it. So side by side, let's see here. Knock the ladder down. So they're the same size, both steel. And now we'll see how they sound after we tune them up out of the box with just what they came on it. This came with a, uh, Ambassador snare side and a coated ambassador here on there. This came with a, a Lexington R and a and a hazy a blank a hazy. All right, so we'll tune these up and see how they sound just out of the box, and then we'll change the heads to be both the same heads and the same wires, and see how they sound from there.
now it's time to put the same kind of heads on here and the same kind of wires. So we're gonna use Aquarian texture coated on the top and we're gonna use the Aquarian classic clear snare side for the bottoms. And then David, what snares are we using for these? These are the Pure Sound Custom Blaster 5000s. I, I don't know, to be it's honest. It's a long name. <laughs> I don't know what they are. <laughs> So the Lexington, it, I mean, it tuned up decently, but the, the struggles of a cheap drum, the hardware isn't very good, you know, the throw off is garbage and was impossible to get right. And, you know, as you engage the throw off, it gets tighter and then it loosens once it's 
locked in, which is just really annoying and such a pain to set up. Uh, the other thing is, whenever we were changing this out, I learned with the last cheap drum, this to get this tight enough, you have to use string and you have to tie a knot there and then tie a knot there. And then to still get it tight enough, we had to actually put it on and then have someone hold it as tight as they could as, as you tighten tighten the it screw. and tied a knot so that it would stay tight. That was a problem with this snare is trying to get the snares tight enough to where they activated when you would tap the drum. So I will say about the hardware though, I just, my, my son is playing the drums and we just got him his first drum kit, an Imperial Star. Great little kit, but the hardware on the Imperial Star is a, is a, it's a step up from this, but anytime you get a kind of entry level drum, the hardware is, I mean, that's gonna be where you, you can hear the springs. Springs. That's an easy there. fix, but still like as a beginner drummer, I wouldn't be tearing apart this drum to put cotton balls in there. It works, but it's not the best. And also another thing about the throw off is in order to tighten the, the string or the strap, you see the screws are facing the wrong way when it's disengaged. So you can't get a screwdriver up in there. So you have to do it, you know, like that to fit the screwdriver in there, which again, just makes it impossible to, to work with. I guess the question with this is, can you get it to sound good? And I think this video proves that it we, you can get it to sound good. You're just gonna have to, you're gonna have to muscle it a little bit more and mess with it. But once you get it in the range, it, we, it wouldn't hold its tuning. They never hold their no, tuning. No, no, so no. once you, once you played on it for a while, you're gonna have to retune it. But even nice drums sometimes can do that. So overall versus the wood snare that we've messed with before, what do you think? Uh, I would go with this one probably. I've a uh... now we'll say this one costs more. Fifty five dollars, I think, is like around what it was. Yeah, for that, I mean, in that case, I'd probably go with the wooden snare because for $55 more, you're just getting a metal shell. Sure, it sounds different, but it's the same hardware, it's the same struggles with tuning, and uh, I mean, this one is black, so it's very stealthy and cool looking, so there's that, but other than that, there's not much more of an upgrade. This, uh, the recording custom steel is great. I didn't have any issues with it. There's no, I mean. And that thing weighs a thousand it, times more than this It weighs thing. a ton, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the weight on it is, but um, I didn't have any problems with it. The throw off is okay. Um, it's not my favorite throw off, but you kind of got to wrap your fingers around there to, to do it. But you can tighten and untighten it while it's engaged, which is, is nice. I, I really didn't have any issues with it. It tuned up fine. It, it really wasn't any problems with it. I didn't expect to have any problems with it. Now we're going to check out what we thought the best tuning for each drum was. 